Hi there, Andy again with Inspired by Candy. Finally going to show you the molds that I've been telling everyone about. Woo! Okay, so let's start with the ones I bought. I did not make these ones. Um, that would be cool if I did. I could probably figure it out, but I have so much on my plate. <laughs> um, these are just regular round molds, obviously. I think most people use these. Um, this here is a leaf mold. I have yet to use, but I I will eventually, excuse me, um, this one is a flower mold, and now comes the molds that I made myself, woo woo! Okay, so let's start with the kind of blah ones, um, this is the one that I molded for my sister's one and a half inch um, gauges. <laughs> so yes, I make her her gauges. Um, I don't think she's worn them yet, but I'm gonna push her to. Anyways, as you can tell, it's flexible. And it dries so fast. That's what I love about this kind. But, yeah. And then this one is for my friend Allie. As you can see, it's a little, it's got residue on it from a uh, mold that I did. Um, these are her little gauges that I made a mold out of while she was here one night and whew, that's resin dried on the bottom. That's what's great about it though is it comes off so easy. Um, obviously not super easy one handed but there you go. Anyways there's that one. Um, this is a ring mold that I made. It's kind of hard to do. Oh excuse me. It's kind of hard to do because you definitely have to move this little middle part around to get the resin in the right spots and this one takes forever to dry because I apparently the thicker parts dry faster than thinner parts do and that is completely true um here's the first mold I ever made and it's still amazing and works so great this is my owl that you guys have seen a lot of um and tell me if you want me to make anything, or if you want to trade a mold for mold, or anything like that. I don't know if I'll give up my owl, but <laughs> just let me know. Um, this one looks kind of funky, but that's because it has so many crevices and so many spots. And this is the octopus um, that I make so many octopuses out of. As you can see, you can see the face right there. Um, let's focus that a little. There you go. And this is just a flat pendant type of mold um, that I made. I love how flexible this stuff is. As you can tell, this is the putty resin, or sorry, putty um, silicone. And this is the liquid silicone that I use. I really love this silicone. It only takes, it takes like an hour and a half to dry. It says two hours, but it does not take very long. Um, this is my... A medium Buddha mold that I made and I really like it because it's just it's perfect and <laughs> I think I used a bowl okay so not recommended do not put the separate parts to the silicone um, mixture in separate bowls it does not wash out but if you mix it together in a bowl in a container if it's all mixed together it comes out beautifully because it's this <laughs> and it detaches from everything as you can tell is why things come out of mold so easily um i'm sorry i'm talking so much and then this guy which i need to wipe off and i use baby wipes for everything because it works like magic um you could tell that i did this one in the bottom of a milk jug because <laughs> you can see the lines but this is the miniature buddhas that i make um so that's how i got those and I have the originals if anyone wants to trade. Um, or even the original of that guy. And then this is a mold that I made. These are necklace pieces. Owl necklace pieces. Go figure, owls. Um, this is the bigger one. This all goes to this one. And this all goes to this one. And you can see there's tiny tiny little hole thingies that leave a hole in the piece in order for them to all hook together see beautiful 
and I've actually made one. It was kind of hard, so I'm still working on it. Um, so that's that. And then comes the famous Big Buddha mold. Here it is. First mold I ever made. And you can kind of tell it's a Buddha. Look at that round head in the bottom. Um, I used a 2 liter um, pop bottle. <laughs> As you can tell, there's the bottom part. Um, but it worked phenomenally, obviously. Um, definitely need to measure how much stuff you need to mix, though. This took me four mixtures to fill, because um, I did not measure properly. So definitely do that, and make sure you don't do super big stuff with this kind, because it's not very cheap. <laughs> but do what you want to do. I mean, I'm not telling you what to do. Sorry. So I wanted to show you the three different molds that I use, or three different silicones that I use. I use the putty, which is what most people use, actually. It's either it's either purple, yellow, I've seen blue, um, not, not the wet kind, but the actual putty kind. So I've seen all kinds. This one I have yet to use, part A and part B, um, easy mold silicone rubber. Um, this one would be a white one, but I have yet to use it um, because I'm in love with this one. This right here is my love. Um, it is one part, one part, and it's the silicone RTV rubber. Um, 125 Aero Marine, and it's it's wonderful. I I wish I had more of it. This is actually the last of it in here, but I have a pretty good amount, so that can make some pretty cool things. I just need new things, so trade, 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 or bye, bye, bye. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. This is Andy again. Please rate, um, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.